Good morning. Hello, Griffin. Wait, hold up. Where's everybody? Wait, I don't see you. Where are you, Miss McFadden, Mr. McCaffrey, Miss Mejia? It's just me? What? Peace out, man. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. We're here, Dr. Richardson. I can't see. Okay. All right. Miss Mejia? Miss Mejia, where are you? I'm here. I'm here. All right, we're here, guys. We're here. All right, we're going to start our lesson. Uh, welcome to um, Wildcat Wellness. Wait a minute. Are we here? We're not here. Not when you can't see our faces. That's what makes us here. Come on, guys. Let's all be here. Let's show our faces. Let's be proud. Let's be wildcats. All right, I'm back. I'm all back. here. Hey. Um, let's talk about being here for just a second. I know we, we've talked a lot about being respectful, um, that digital citizenship. We've talked a lot about that. Well, let's talk about being here digitally. And that means to participate. And also we want to see your faces, guys. As you can see the difference between when we weren't, weren't there and then when you are there, it's a lot more engaging. If you're going to sit in front of a screen, for several hours, I think it's good to see our faces. I think we'll be a lot more connected. So let's go around and let's just hear from the rest of the counselors about why it's so good to be here. I think it's really important to be on camera. It shows that you're being present. Your teacher know that you're paying attention to what's going on. You're present with your classmates. Everybody know that you are into the lesson. Yes, and we need for you to be present. So we need to see your smiling faces on the camera while you're in the classroom. We need that from you. And I know you can do it. So what do you think, Ms. Mejia? What do you think? I, I think it's a really good reason to have your camera on so that your teachers know if you're understanding. So whenever I'm on camera, I notice, you know, people are nodding their heads or, or maybe they're shaking their heads or maybe they're like this, you know. So it really helps the teacher kind of figure out, is it, um, is her or his or her message getting across? Or are they teaching the lesson and can you understand it? So just to give the teacher feedback, the teacher needs that energy too. I know Dr. Richardson felt a little lonely going on camera with her. So we don't want our teachers feeling lonely out there. What about you, Mr. McCaffrey? What do you think? I think one of the most important reasons to have your camera on is to feel a connection. The past several months we've been isolated at home and everything virtually and we know we're missing out on a lot of things at school. We're missing out on all the high fives and all the hugs we give our friends. So to make that connection, we got to turn our videos on. All right. Counselors laid out a lot of positive reasons, but creating that connection with your fellow classmates. So when we do come back to school, you kind of have a familiar face, you know, you've been in class with them you know a little bit about them and it goes with your teachers as well. They can see you, uh, they get to see how you're paying attention. They can build that relationship, even if it's just virtually by seeing the person, you're creating a bond and that, that bond goes a long way. Even though we, a lot of us don't like being on camera, it took me several months until I was comfortable, but I realized the value in building this connection with the other counselors. Uh, it, it, it can go a really long way, so please, the benefits outweigh all the negatives for being on camera. Um, if it's more positive, I think we should do it. And I think that's the best thing we can do going forward. Um, Let's talk cool. about backgrounds. Guys, yes. I think backgrounds is a good way to get to know each other better. This is Tyvee Island. You can almost hear the waves. This is Tyvee Island. It's one of my favorite places to go. This is the pier, Tyvee Island. So backgrounds is a good way to show your create, creative side, fun, you know, that type of thing. So let's hear from Ms. McFadden. Yeah, I think it's really cool to show places that you've been. You know, I love traveling to different places and I like showcasing where I've been. Um, so this is one place that I wanted to go um, this summer. This is Amsterdam. But usually when I have um, different places as my virtual background, different people ask, what is that? Where have you been? And they ask questions. So it, it creates some conversation about 
different things. And that's a way that you can connect with your classmates. So um, try virtual backgrounds. It's really cool and it's easy to do. Mr. McCaffrey is going to show you how to do that in just a second. Ms. Mia, why don't you go first and then I'll bring us home and I'll okay. show the students how to So take. my background, um, some of you know, you might see me in the hallways back when we used to be in school, I'd be there in the morning with my coffee. I love Starbucks. And so um, I used to love to go hang out there. So a, a few weeks ago, Starbucks had on their app places, um, Starbucks all around the world, you can download and you can kind of feel like you're hanging out there. So I'm not really sure where this is, but it looks really really cool and I wish I could go there. So one way to use a background is to kind of pretend you're somewhere else, right? While you're in math class, but you're hanging out in a really cool place. So um, it also can give you privacy, right? So you don't really know where I am. And some people don't want to show their house. Uh, maybe you're in your bedroom and it's kind of messy. Whatever it is, um, there's lots of good reasons to have a background and, um, and we could be really creative with it. And Mr. McCaffrey is going to tell us about his background and how we all got here. Yeah, so in a minute, we're going to show you how to change your background, but I want to make a very important point that, and I think all students understand there's certain expectations. When you go into a classroom, you have classroom expectations, but those are also in line with school expectations. All right, so these backgrounds, they need to be appropriate for class. All right. So the expectations, your teachers will be monitoring um, and they'll be able to let you know what's appropriate and what's not. Um, so let's keep it simple. A place that you want to visit, maybe a uh, beach. Um, you know, mine is the Atlanta Hawks Arena. I've been there a bunch. It's one of my favorite places in Atlanta. Um, I can't wait till they're back on the court and we can go down there. But keeping it you know, in line with school, understanding the environment we're in, and you all are young adults, we're growing up, we understand when we need to be respectful, and then we're in a learning environment, we have to make sure we are very respectful to our peers. Uh, so when we're showing our, our face and our background, let's make sure we align with those classroom expectations and the PBIS, be here, be ready, be respectful. Uh, that, that's, that's a very big part of, you know, this lesson. So, I will share my screen and I will get into how to change your background. Now, it, I don't think you can see the very top, but I have all the options where it's the mute with the microphone, it has the video where you can stop video, show video, and all the other options. So looking at this, here's what it looks like up top. You wanna click on that little arrow next to the video. All right, it's going to kind of create a drop down menu. Okay, now I'm going to close that out so I can do it on my screen. But when you click that little arrow and you have the drop down menu, this should pop up. All right, and you'll see, and you click choose virtual background. All right, so you'll maybe or maybe not have some virtual backgrounds in there. All right, if you have none, you'll see now I don't have any. All right, but when you click on them, they'll change the backgrounds. And you can add more by going to the plus sign. All right, you want to add an image. We're not doing any videos, no videos as your background. I know some of you are great with computers and that would be cool, but that's not the school setting, not in our, not for classroom expectations. All right, so you have your screenshots. When you click the add, add image, depending on your device, whether it's an iPad or a laptop, uh, will be depending on how you get to your pictures. iPad, you'll have to go to your photo album. It'll ask you. Uh, computer, it'll take you into your settings. But whichever image you pick, if I pick a skyline, um, and you can get them from the internet, you can save the image, you can screenshot the image. There's a couple different ways you can do that. Uh, if you have questions, you can reach out. But once you open it, it will automatically change your background. And then you can exit out, and then you can see it. Um, so if we stop sharing the screen, then you'll see I have a new background, which is the best skyline in the world. <laughs> it's our skyline. Um, so again, remember students, there's more positives than negatives when it comes to being on video. So we should make sure we grab, grab onto that and let's be positive. And again, keep it school appropriate uh, because as you know, everything is recorded and we have um, the logs of everything we're doing. So keep it classroom appropriate on, on school expectations. 
Mm. Uh, we do want to take this opportunity to show you how to schedule an appointment with the counselors. Uh, we gave our student needs assessment and we saw a lot of you just weren't quite sure on how to schedule that appointment. So I'm going to go back into share screen and I'm just going to show you all if you go to this Griffin Middle School website, which is where you should be going uh, probably three, four times a week just to check for updates, see what's going on in your world because this is your school. All right, this is your school and you need to know what's going on. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see one of the best sections with GSPN. It's a new system. It's a new, uh, I guess you call it program, or it's a new information update. But please be checking out the Griffin Wildcat Weekly Newsletter. Um, stay up to date with that. You see all the social medias there, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the Twitter. Uh, Miss Quintana, they do a great job of keeping that up to date. All right, so please, please, please be checking this website often. So to schedule an appointment with a counselor, depending on your device, you're all, and no matter what device you're on, you're gonna have a menu option, all right? Now, counselors in schools are resources. So it makes sense we're under the resource tab because we got all the information on where, you know, you can maybe get a little extra help um, and all sorts of stuff. So when you click on resources, you might have to scroll down a little further and then you see counseling. Once you click on counseling, it will take you to our blog. And this is our blog. Now there's a lot of information on there. Welcome back videos. Hopefully some of y'all seen that. Um, then there's more instructions on how to reach us. But what we want you to do to schedule an appointment is at the very top. This bar has a lot of information, all right? Live office hours are to come as we set those up. It'll be an open Zoom meeting once a week for 30 minutes or so where we will be in the Zoom meeting. You can join at any time. So to schedule an appointment, you click scheduling an appointment. It'll take you to a kind of another little pop-up page. And then you go to counselor request form. Now this brings you to the Microsoft form that connects you with us. All right. So you'll, again, you'll see some information. You see the grades. But as you scroll down, you want to start filling this information out. Put it in your name, full name, please, first and last. Uh, grade level. That should be an easy one reason for appointment there could be all sorts of reasons and if you got more than one reason you can just click any of them because no matter what we're going to talk to you um and wherever the conversation goes that's why we're here uh we're here for support and not just one area but wherever you need it uh and you need to see your counselor how quickly um you know obviously the very much emergency situations please choose 24 hours but if if it's not an emergency you can click 24 to 48, or if it's something else, anytime. But as you click those, we'll keep going through. Which counselor would you like to see? Uh, you click any of them. Obviously, if you're in sixth grade, we would encourage you to first click me. But if for some reason you might know Dr. Richardson, you, it's okay if you click her. We'll still reach out and figure something out. And I know we both, all these counselors worked with students in different grades last year. Um, you know, if we did work with you and you're dying to tell us something, please, please just click us because we'll still reach out to you. Um, the calendar here, this is a space where you can provide a little more information. So you go ahead and go ahead and type in there. Like I'm not, I'm not free on Monday. All right. So you can put a little information there. We get all that when you send it to us. Personal email address so we can send the, the Zoom link directly to you and your phone number. All right, if the Zoom isn't working, we can still reach out and contact you. Most important part is to click submit. Once you click submit, we get alerted. All right, we're, we get a notification saying form's been filled out. We go in there, we check it out, see what's going on, and we'll connect with y'all. Um, so that's very important. I'm glad we were able to show y'all that. Um, what else is going on, counselors? Well, one thing I, I, I think we all want to stress is um, I believe Tuesday in the lesson, you guys um, were given an opportunity to complete a counselor survey. And I have like 400 and something students in seventh grade, for example. Um, and I had about half, which is awesome. I had half reply. I'd love to hear from more of you because mm -hmm. 
when you fill that survey out, it lets us know what you're interested in. I don't, we don't want to say, oh, well, seventh grade's interested in this if you guys aren't really interested in that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're, we're really right now wanting to help you build your toolbox, whether that be college and career, social, emotional, or, you know, academic study skills, whatever, but we want to hear from you. This is vital. So um, your teachers should be putting that link. We're going to send it out. The link should be there in the chat. Make sure you hit submit. That is probably the most important part of filling that out. Take your time. And we want to hear from you. Uh, we miss you. Any other counselors want to add something? No, maybe yes. um, teachers want to go over what their expectations are for virtual backgrounds, just kind of mm -hmm. go over that and maybe practice a uh, virtual background and um, and show, and if you haven't shown your face yet, maybe this today would be the, the first time Perfect for you time. and it would be really fun. I'm, I promise you it's super awkward in the, uh, at the beginning, it was awkward for all four of us. Mm -hmm. um, and we knew each other pretty well before we started doing the video calls. But now we're naturals, you know, I don't know if we look natural, but we feel, we don't feel weird like we used to. I promise you, you're going to get used it, to it. It gets better with time. Yeah. Absolutely. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be, the better mm -hmm. it'll be. And your teachers want to see you. They need yes. to see yes. you. Yes. Sweet faces. Yes. All right. Everyone have a great weekend. All right. And we'll see everyone Monday. Bye. Bye-bye.